Ah, what's this? I thought spring has sprung. Yeah, we had snow the other day. And, uh, but, you know, it's melting away. It's almost like it's in the south here. There's T-Rex waiting for a ride. And we're going to go and take a little journey. So here we are at the end of April. It's like uh, April 26th and spring has sprung. It's like a euphoric feeling for us. I don't know, is that the same with all your other folks? Does uh, winter get you down and uh, kind of you hunker down for the winter? I mean, that's what happens with us up here is winter comes along and everyone just basically hunkers down in the, uh, in the indoors. And uh, and everyone waits it out for uh, for spring to come. Now, really, the first signs of spring up here is you start to see the motorcycles come out. Uh, then after that, you see the RVs being pulled out of the lots and where they're being stored, and people are putting them in front of their house, getting them all ready. And Canada geese are coming back. And finally the weather starts to really cooperate and we start to get into the 60s and 70s. Sounds ridiculous, huh? Right now in Arizona, it's probably like 95 degrees or something. But um, yeah, winter, it's a, long, it's a long winter for us up here. It's, uh, here we are, like May is when it really kind of, really starts to open up and you get the trees budding and whatnot. And really goes all the way to the end of October. November 1st, it could be uh, snowing and um, Minus 20. Uh, or it could just kind of get cold and warm, cold and warm all the way up to Christmas. But once Christmas happens, for sure, you're, you're into the thick of it. It's interesting watching the different YouTube videos of people traveling around. And, uh, you know, spring is uh, happening all over the place. And, um, you know, I, I'd almost think it'd be more further advanced, especially in the mid, mid east, midwest, whatnot. Uh, so we're not that far behind, really. I mean, we are, but uh, not as far as I thought it would be, anyhow. But uh, yeah, spring, it's just uh, fantastic. And one of the things, the big advantages of having an RV is you watch these guys and they just follow the weather, right? You got a guy like uh, Camp Skunk who lives in his Class B with his wife and his cat. Uh, and um, it's a road trek, 19 foot, I believe. <clears throat> and they just go wherever the 70 degree weather is. <laughs> That's the way to do it. You know, you don't have to deal with all the heat and the cold. And, but uh, man, it's amazing how much everything just comes to life because of uh, the warmer weather. What I want to do here is just show you this, like many of these all around the place, you know, farmers, they want to make a living, so they open up an RV storage facility. And uh, here's one right here. And uh, when you take a good look at what's in there, there you go, there's fifth wheels right off the bat. And just a whole whack of travel trailers, Nice to zoom in on that. And I don't know what the fees are. I should actually, I should really stop in and find out how much it costs to store your RV here. But, um, but look at that. It's all, it's all uh, travel trailers and fifth wheels. Oh, there was a Class A in there. What else we got going? Boats, big boats too. Wow. Oh, another Class A. Yeah, and that's one thing I didn't want to do is having to store uh, an RV in uh, one of those storage facilities. I mean, you got to do what you got to do, I suppose. But um, I like the idea of just jumping out in the driveway and going. 
Oh yeah. And with uh, spring coming on a few weeks ago, I was able to make it out to the skateboard park. There's still a little bit of snow in, in some of the bowls and, and whatnot, but uh, man, feel alive when things open up in spring, right? Spring has sprung. Oh, well, here's someone uh, maybe living in a RV. They got the slide out, or maybe they're just getting it all ready for for the season. Yeah. All right. So, what about you? When uh, when spring uh, comes along, are you feeling euphoric? I've had it many years where I'm just so busy that it just kind of slides into spring and then you're into summer and you hardly even realize what's going on and then you finally, oh man, summer's passing me by, you know. But uh, this this one in particular, I made a, a point of actually making a decided choice to, I'm not going to just go and work, 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 work all the time, I'm going to, which I am doing anyhow, but I mean I'm going to try and uh, get out and do more things, you know, like, I mean, check this out, I mean, what a beautiful spot we got here. You can hear the hear the birds and whatnot, and got to feel alive, right? Yeah, so spring is sprung, you know. Let's get out and do stuff, man. All right.